fight Sometimes trying to see what it's like Take me, so I roll the dice Look up to no one else But yeah, I was shy I got real power Hebrew is a lie Like I say, just like that vibe And all the words that were given to me today He told me Next time to make sense with it I hope the best to all of y'all Nothing but good luck Best life for y'all future Before you leave though, I, I want to ask you a very important question What is your ethnicity? Native to this land. Whatever they call this land, I'm the native. Native to this land? I was born and raised. Now, let me ask you a question. I'm talking about your, your forefathers. Where do they come from? Good question. Here, there, all over. Everywhere. Here, there, all over. Everywhere. Brother, you have a nation that you go back to. I know. Right. We're giving it back to you. You understand that? Go to Proverbs chapter, go to Proverbs chapter one and verse four, because you can't walk away without knowing what nation you come from. Right. I, when's the last time you're here? Uh, you know, you ask it. Now hold on, I got you. Because you ask a Chinese man, you know, where you from? He never says here, there, where. He says I'm from China. Right? You never. I've never seen an East Indian man say here, there, 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 whatever. No, he don't say that. But we need to know where we come from. Read this in Proverbs one and four. Go to Genesis thirty-five and ten. Now we're gonna tell you where you come from uh, through the spirit power of the Lord. Read this. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 4. Read to give subtlety to the simple, right. to the young man, knowledge. Why are we out here? To, to knowledge. No, read it, read it right. To give subtlety to the simple, uh -huh. to the young man, knowledge. To the what? To the young man, knowledge. So, Rob, we're here to give you knowledge. You said, now, where do we come from? So let's, let's, let's figure it out. Read what you got, King. It's the book of Genesis, chapter 35, and verse number 10. Read it out. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Right. Thy name shall not be called anymore Jacob. But what? But Israel. Where do we come from? But, but Israel. Israel. A native country? But, but Israel. Israel. So, brother, we come from the land of Israel. Right. You understand that? Black Israel's lost tribe. There's no such thing as black Israel. We're just the Israelites. We're just the Hebrews. Where's the yellow Israelites at? Where's you ever seen a red Israelite? I've never seen it. So why is there a black Israelites? Why? Why? Why are they in Why don't see color? We are just the Israelites. That's a byword. We're not a byword. We are the Hebrews. We are God's children. And with it, as being God's children, you know that comes. You know what that comes with. You know that comes with a, a language, a, a culture, a, a heritage. Right. Brother, we got feast days, man. Right. Name one of our feast days in the Bible. I, that has been taken away from us, but now we got that back, man. Right. That's our culture. Now, go to Sirach 24 and verse 23. This is important to know, because you can't walk away without not knowing where, I mean, who you are or where your culture comes from. Read this, King. It's the book of Sirach. Chapter 24 and verse number 23. Yeah. All these things right. are the book of the covenant. Not the book of Christianity. Are the book of the covenant. Are the book of the covenant. It's the book of the covenant. Really? Of the most high God. Right. Even the law. Right. Which Moses commanded for inheritance. For what? For, for inheritance. inheritance. So the laws of God the brother was bringing out to you, that's the heritage of the Hebrews and the heritage of the Israelites. That's right. Right? So now we have to hearken unto these laws. We have to listen and follow these laws. I see you threw away the blunt uh, away earlier, brother. That was a good that was a good act that you did. Right? right. Now every day we gotta keep God's laws because that's our heritage. Go to first Timothy chapter one and verse nine. Right. You know the you know the problem with our people though? Our people don't want to keep their laws. Our people abandoned their heritage. Now we say we're from here, there, and wherever. But this is what happens when we abandon our laws. This is what, this is what we turn out to be Greek. This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9. Yeah. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man. You know what? But for the lawless right. and disobedient. What is our people? Disobedient. Our people are disobedient. Right, read on. For the ungodly. For the what? For the ungodly. Killing each other with switches in the middle of the streets at 17, 18, 19 years old is a very ungodly thing to do. Right. Especially for God's people, the Hebrews. Would you agree? That's a very ungodly thing to do. Read on. For the ungodly. Right. And for sinners. And for what? And yeah, for right sinners. There. Our people are laden in iniquities. Are laden in sin. So we have to teach our people to come back to God through the Spirit the right way. Go to Isaiah chapter 1, verse 16. Because I would assume, Rob, you would want to come back to God the right way, right? Yeah. You're tired of, you tired of being lied to, right? Yeah. We're tired of being lied to, brother. Yeah. So we're going to teach you how to come back to God the right way. Now, if you walked away, you have never learned this anywhere else. You ever, you know, obviously K through 12, you ever been to college and things like that? They don't teach you this, man. They're not going to teach you this, Rob. We have to come and teach you this, man. Read this, King. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 16. Wash you, make you clean. Wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings. Put away the evil of your doings. 
how do we put away the evil of our doings? How do we wash ourselves? Is, is God talking about going to the shower tonight, you know, you got, kind of got the native soap, you start washing yourself, and now you come out the shower, now you clean. Is, that's not what he's talking about. Right. Let's see how we wash ourselves. Read this, King. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 118 and verse number 9. Yeah. Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way? Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? You know what? By taking heed there, there too, according to thy word. So we have to take heed to the laws of God or to the words of God. That's how we wash ourselves and make us clean. You understand? Right. Are you following along? Oh, right, that's good. You know what? Put away the evil of your doings right. from before my eyes. Right. From before God's eyes. Remember, God, the Lord's eyes is everywhere. He sees everything that you do, right. even in the secret places. Right. So there is nowhere you can go to break God's laws. You always got to keep God's laws. Right. right? And the faith in his son. Read on. Cease to do evil. What the Lord say? Cease, cease to, to do evil. evil. The Lord said we got to cease to do evil. You understand that, brother? Brother, the cardinal shirt. What would you say? We gotta cease to do evil. Come up here, brother. Come up here, brother. Come up here. Let me talk to you. Brother, you know you're the hundredth person to walk past today, brother? Now, let me, let me tell you something, King. You see yourself on the sign? Where is, where is that? You see yourself on the sign? Where you see yourself at? What's your what's your ethnicity according to what this world calls you? Hey, meditate on that, Rob. He just got some good knowledge, good information. And we're gonna give it to you too, brother. Right. I'm, gonna show, I'm gonna show you what we just talked to Brother Rob, man. Right? Now, where do you see yourself at? Be a Colombian, Dominican, African American, Black, West Indian, African American, Black. African -American Black. Do you believe like in a uh, higher power? You believe in God? You believe in the Bible? Now, do you know the Bible talks about Black culture and Black history? Where, where in the Bible does it talk about that? Yeah, where do talk about in the Bible? Yeah. It on Black history. Yeah, history. Okay, okay. Now, it uh, specifically talks about our people. Did you know that? do. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Now. We thought the same thing as well, but then one day we opened up the Bible, and I actually read it because we went to, you know, we was in a Christian church, right? We was, you know, learning from our pastor, and one day I was like, I gotta open up this Bible, and see what the hell he's talking about. But when I read it, I was scratching my head because you see certain things in the Bible that lines up with the things that happened in our, our people's history. Right. Go to Deuteronomy twenty-eight and verse sixteen. Now, for example, I'm gonna show you this verse, and I want you, you know, to kind of start at verse fifteen. Let's see what you think about this. Now, God is talking to the Israelites. Mo, you know, Moses, he freed the people, right? They came into the wilderness. They got the commandments. Now, in the covenant, God said if you break his contract, there's going to be generational curses that happen to a group of people. Now, I'm going to show you something. Read this. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and this verse 15. Yeah. But it shall come to pass. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He's telling his children, if you disobey me, right? You know what? To observe to do all his commandments right. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, now what? that all these curses right. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Didn't God create everybody? All 18 nations of people, but there's a specific nation today that's going through generational curses that can't be uplifted. Now I'm going to show you. Read on verse 16. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. What the Lord say? Curse shall thou be in the city. So if you want to find God's people in today, 2024, you have to go to the worst places in America or all around the world. Now, who lives there? Is it a Chinese man? Who lives in the worst places in every city in America? You said a lot of people? East Indians? I'm, I'm, as a nation, though, like if you walk into the hood, you're going to find a whole bunch of East Indians. Who are you going to find there? You're going to find our people. Hey, Rollo, what's your name? Rollo? Rollo gets deeper than that. Read this. It gets deeper than that. Look. And curse shall thou be in the field. And what? And curse shall thou be in the field. In the 1800s? And curse shall thou be in the field. In the 1900s. And curse shall thou be in the field. What group of people have you known that, you, that you've been taught in school that was in fields all day? Hot. Working. Slaves. Now, which slaves? Was it the Japanese slaves? It was our people. Sorallo gets deeper than that. Read verse 54. Go to Tobit chapter 1 and verse 8. Now listen to this. This blew my mind when I read this. Read this. Verse 54. Right. So let the man that is tender among you and very delicate. So God said, your brother, right, the person that looks just like me and you, read on. His eye shall be evil toward his brother. He's love his brother as he loves himself. His, his eye shall, shall be evil, evil toward his brother. brother. So what, is that, what does that sound like? Right? The person that looked just like me, my eye is continually always evil against him. What goes on in St. Louis right now? That what the Bible just said, brother. Right. That's what the Bible just said. It gets deeper than that. Read on. 
and toward the wife of his bosom. We got the highest domestic violence rate in the world, brother. Low, lowest marriage rate ever, right? Read on. And toward the remnant of his children. Now this man has kids. What do you think he's gonna do with his children? What is what is these people gonna be known for when they have kids? Huh? What they, what's the stereotype on a certain group of people today when they have children? All right, and what are they doing? What is the father doing? He's in the streets. Is he with his children? So what did he do? He left his kids, right? Right, now hold on. Read this. And toward the remnant of his children. The remnant of his children. Which he shall leave. You no, know, Tyrone will stay and raise his kids. Which, which he, he shall, shall leave. leave. The Bible just said this man, thousands of years later, is going to have a stereotype on him right. for leaving his children. Mm -hmm. Did you know there was a man named Tobit in the Bible that grew up like that without a father? Did, did you know that? That's crazy. Now read this. I'm going to show you. This is the book of Tobit, chapter 1, verse 4. Read Verse 8. In the third, I came unto them to whom it was meet. Right. As the brother. My father's mother! My what? My, my father's, father's mother. mother! How many brothers you know that was raised by their grandmothers? Because their fathers wasn't in their lodge. Toby went through the, Toby got his own book in the Bible. He was so righteous, man. Right. And he grew up just like the majority of our brothers in this world today. Right. Now I'm gonna show you, read on. My father's mother right. had commanded me right. because I was left an orphan. I was what? I, I was, was left an orphan. orphan. What was Toby? I was left an orphan. A lot of our brothers? I was left an orphan. By my who? By my father. By my what? By, by my, my father. father. Toby was left an orphan by his father, just right. like a lot of us. Now we're going to we going through what? A lot of different books to show you that this is talking about a certain group of people's history. Whose history? Right. Our history. Right. Now did God call us black people though? Who called us black people? Who called, yeah, who called us black people? Who called us a color out of a crayon, crayon box? I've never seen pink people. Where's the yellow people? Right. Where's the green people at? Right. You ever seen somebody green? I, I've never seen somebody orange, man. So why is there a certain group of people called black and their skin's not even black? So what did God call us as a nation of people? Go to Deuteronomy 29 and verse 1. We gotta link these things up. Right. We gotta, what they said, we gotta make it make sense, man. Right. We have to understand who this is talking about, which is us, but what did God call us? And if you understand what God called us, you understand what comes with that. Right. This. this is the book of Deuteronomy 29 and verse 1. Go. These are the words of the covenant, right? Which the Lord commanded Moses. To make with the children of Israel. No, make with the children of niggas. To make, make with, with the, the children, children of Israel. Israel. Black people. To make, make with, with the, the children, children of Israel. Israel. So God made this covenant with the Israelites 5,000 years ago. But they teach you your history starts at 1619. And everybody in history started way before the BC times. Where was we during the Roman Empire? Where was our people at during the Grecian Empire? The Achaemenid Empire. They, where was our people at in these times? Right. But they start your history in Africa, swinging from trees in 1619, right. when their history goes all the way back. But so does our history too. Right. right? Now, read this. The Lord called us the Israelites. Now, what does the word Israel mean? It's, it's very important. Let me read this. It's the book of Genesis, chapter 32, verse 28. Yeah. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Because we come from the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's the chosen lineage. We know what? For Israel. So he changed his name to Israel. We know what? For as a prince. As a dog. For as a prince. As a nigga. For as a prince. As a what? Has thou power with God. And with what? And with men. Why do you think we can do the things that we can do? Right. Well, I mean, think about it. Why? We have no knowledge of who our God is, but we're still the best and sought out for people in the earth. Yeah. Do you know there's billion dollar industries for, for women, to, for their women to look like our women behind you, man? There's mom. women right now that are trying to look like these beautiful sisters right here. Right. And spend billions of dollars trying to do it, man. Billions. Billions. Yeah. I mean, you, you, the people watch the Olympics every four years to who? For the, for, the, for the East Indians? No, it's for our people. Right. Because we have a prince, we have a prince that's power with God and with men. That's right. But I still to this day, and I'm gonna say it every single time. You see LeBron James, you see him play, right? Have you ever seen an East Indian man dunk a basketball? Take him out. I've never seen it in my life. Right. I've never seen an air run as fast as you say boat. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Because right. read it again. For as a prince, uh -huh. hast thou power with God uh -huh. and with men. And with men. And hold on this morning. And as what? And as prevail. And as what? And as prevail. And as prevail. And as prevail. We prevail. You know what the word prevail means? What does that mean? Prevail. To prevail. 
What does that mean? It means to win, to overcome. Because nobody's gonna survive hundreds of years of slavery like us to this very day. And still be on the earth making it happen through the spirit. Still, right? still making still. it happen right now. Because God said we have prevailed. That's what the word Israelite means, man. Go to Sirach 17 11. And now what comes with being an Israelite? Like if I ask you what comes with black culture, what do you what, 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 what would you say? What comes with black culture? Usually guns, rap music, right? Well, I mean what else? Smoking, twerking, rolling up backwards all day. Pains, chasing women, women chasing men, right? Martin Luther King, always gotta throw him in there somewhere. Right. So what, is, I mean, that's black coaching. What is Israelite coaching? Uh, go to X, go to X, what you want? Go, no, go to X is 19 and 6. Let, let's see what Israelite culture is, man. Read this. It's the book of Side Right, chapter 17 and verse number 11. No. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. He gave them what? He, he gave, gave them knowledge. knowledge. Right. And the law of life for inheritance. For what? For, for inheritance. inheritance. God gave us the laws of life for inheritance. Right. We have to keep God's laws as a heritage for us to live. But now let me ask you a question. The Israelites, God's chosen people, gave us the law, statutes, commands. We read the covenant. If we don't break, if we don't keep these commandments, curses happen to us. Do you think we kept these commandments? Break them up, huh? No, we didn't. Right. What up, read that in Group 1 and 17. That's why we're at the bottom of society now. It has nothing to do with uh, uh, an economic standpoint. We had cities. We had thriving businesses and things like that. They came and bombed it, man. Right. Due to the curses of God. Those are divine curses that are on God's people to this day, which is us. Because we broke his commandments. It's nothing more, nothing less. Read this, King. It's the book of Baruch, chapter 1, verse 17. Yeah. 600 years ago. Read this. But we have sinned before the Lord. We have did what? But we have sinned before the Lord. We sinned before God. Read what? And disobeyed him. And what? And, and disobeyed him. And have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our God. Right. To walk in the commandments that he gave us openly. Right. Since the day that the Lord brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt. We were also slaves in Egypt. We were doing the same things we were doing in America. You bitch. Bringing bricks, making pyramids, things like that. The Lord saved us and gave us his laws. But do you think we keep God's laws? Or, we, or as black people, we do what we want to do because we grow. You know, we told God that, and God said, I got something for you. We're going to put you into slavery and see what happens. Right. Go to Ezekiel 39 and verse 20. Notice how, I, like the Christian, not like the Christian pastor, I'm not up here to say what I want to say. I'm proving everything out of the word of God. Right. Because this is what God said. Right. Go to Ezekiel 39 and verse 20. Let's get another witness on that. Do what you got. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 39, and verse number 20. Thus no. shall ye be filled at my table with horses. Hey, you can drop that for now. Do what you got. No, no, no. Do what you got. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 19, verse 6. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So that's what our heritage comes with, because the kingdom of priests is a nation of people. Now, like I was bringing back before, why are we at the bottom of society? Here's another witness for that reason. Is that it? Come on. Ezekiel 39 and 22. Talk on that. Now, what do we have to get, do to get out of this to get out of this predicament that we're in as a, as a people? How do we come how do we come out of this state as a, as a people in America? Follow God's word. Follow God's word. Now what did he command us to do? What did he command us to do? You got it? Come on, read this. It's the book of Ezekiel, 39 and verse 23. Yeah. And, the is, and the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. So the heathens are anybody that's not an Israelite. Those are the other nations. When God said they're going to know that we went into captivity or slavery for our sins. Not because they colonized us. Not because they were stronger than us. Right. It's because God simply put his people on punishment. That was it. Read on. Because they trespassed against me. We trespassed against who? They we trespassed, trespassed against, against me. me. Therefore, hid I my face from them. Right. And gave them into the hand of their enemies. And are we giving it to the hand of our enemies? What happened to Sonia Massey in Southern Illinois? What happened to her? She was given into the hand of her enemy. Right. She was killed. Just like Sandra Bland, right. Trayvon Martin, right. George Floyd. Right. God said, I gave my people to the hands of their enemies for the trespasses and sins against them. 
So like you said, we gotta do what now? Follow God's word, right? Do what he says. We, we're still under a contract from 4,000 years ago. Right. And our people just don't seem to understand it. They still think they can do what they wanna do. But you will continually be at the bottom of society until right. you get with God's plan. Right. Right. right, God's plan. This is this is God's plan for us. Right, right. right. right? now we're gonna show you some commandments, and y'all sisters some commandments that God commanded to do as a people. What to do as a heritage in a culture? What to do Deuteronomy chapter fourteen verse eight? Do you know that God made every animal on earth? Right? Do you know He gave us a dietary law what we eat, what we can eat, and what we can't eat? Do you think we can just eat anything that runs across this earth, man? Leave it to the so-called white man. You can do what you want to do. Right. If you want to eat a possum, go ahead and eat a possum. If you want to eat a rat, go eat a healthy eat a rat, man. Yeah. Right, but God said, my people, they can't do what y'all other nations do, man. Right. They're, they're much more, they're held to a higher standard. Read this. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14 and verse 8. Right. No. And this one. And the what? And, and this one. one. What's one? What, this pork. Now, we're going to see what God said about the pig. Remember, he created every animal. Real. Because it divided the hoof, yet you have not the gun. It is unclean unto you. Oh, you can eat baby back ribs. It, it is, is unclean unto you. you. I love ham. It, it is, is unclean unto you. you. Can you eat pork according to the Bible? No, it's unclean unto you. What is our people doing right now? In there! Right! Hey. What are they doing? Wake they're sinning huh? before, the, before, the, before their God, man. Because they're eating pork and God said you cannot eat pork. Right. My people can't right. eat pork. Right. And our people are right now, nine times out of ten, ten times out of ten, somebody right. selling pork up in there, man. Right. Yeah. And that's right. making God angry. Right. And that's why we have these shootings. That's why we have these killings. That's why we have these atrocities that happen to our people. Right. right. Now, do you eat pork? Are we going to stop today for God? For oh, God? I mean, you, are we? No, I don't know. You don't know? What? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, you understand. I don't eat a lot of pork, though. There's certain things that I eat. I got you, I got you. No, from today, we can't eat any pork for God. Right. You got an ox. You got chicken, right. you got goat, right. you got turkey, right. you got bison, right. you got all types of meat you can all eat. Types. Other you can eat. Oh, what up, lamb, lamb. Right. buffalo? Right. Why do we why do we eat the pork? Right. That's slave food. Right. I mean, we wasn't eating pork before that, man. But now we eat pork after slavery, and we think it's a delicacy. That's not a delicacy. Right. That is disgusting. Right? Right. So from this day forward, we can't be eating pork if we really serve God the right way. The right way. And I remember, I didn't make this up. Brother, brother didn't write this down last night. I'm right. trying to hurry up and write it down to finish it. But you didn't do that, man. Right. <laughs> you didn't do that. This is written from God thousands of years ago. We just got to get with the program. Right. Now there's more in there. Read this. Read it on. Right. It is that clean to you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, right. nor touch their dead carcass. Right. Then shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Right now, these are the things that you can eat in the waters. Now, there's more, there's more ocean than land. There's a lot of fish in the sea. Can we eat everything that just comes out the ocean? Well, we're gonna see, you know. All that have fins and scales, shall ye eat. So all the fish that has fins and scales, you can eat. Salmon. Red snapper, right. white bass, right. cod, right. white fish. Those are clean fish that dwell in the water. Right. Read on. And whatsoever have not fins and scales, ye may not eat. Not like shrimp. Ye, ye may, may not, not eat. eat. Like crab. Ye, ye may, may not eat. eat. Have lobster tomorrow. Ye, ye may, may not, not eat. eat. You can't eat those things that don't have fins and scales. Right. Now, what is our people doing right now? Right now. About to spend eighty dollars or some shrimp. What, put, put the damn uh, flash, uh, the Snapchat flash on, right? And they, they recording it, they got the lemon sauce right here. They said, girl, I'm about to do my thing. Oh, right? That's off. Oh, God said we can't do that, according to the Bible. Right? Do you eat those things? Uh, they're all praising the most high. You can right. never eat those things, bro. Right. Right? You understand that? Now I'm going to give you one more command. Go to Leviticus chapter 19 and verse number 26. It's the book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 26. No! Ye shall not eat anything with the blood. Right? Neither shall ye use enchantment nor observe time. You know what that's going into? Enchantments and observe time? You know what that is? Using enchantments and observing time? That's going into star worship. When somebody says, oh, when's your birthday? Oh, you must be a Scorpio. I don't like Scorpios. I only mess with Geminis. That goes into star worship. That's called idolatry. God's not dealing with that. Has anybody ever asked you, what's your horoscope? So, do you answer them? Because I usually just, I just look at them up and down and walk away. Right. That's crazy to me. Right. You look at your phone, it says, okay, I'm a Gemini, I'm going to eat two times today. Right. And then the next day it says, you're not going to eat at all. And they're they crying all day because, you know, their horse, they believe in their horoscope. Wow. We believe in the words of God. Right. So the Lord said, we can't be doing that. 
So if you weren't doing it, if you went to the horoscopes on the Gemini, Gemini season, leave that alone. Because right. right. why would we serve the stars if we can serve the God that created the stars? Right. Doesn't that make more sense? Right. Exactly. Now it's more than that. Read on. Verse 27. Right. You shall not round the corners of your head. Now God said we can't round the corners of our heads. What does that mean? You ever see Michael Jordan, Tyrese Gibson, and Baby Boy? Right? You can't be you can't be shaving off your head, boy. Clean like Shaq. Right, you can't be in, uh, looking like Charles Barkley. You ever see Charles Barkley? It looks weird. Right. right, no mustache, no no hair on his head. Right, the Lord said you gotta have some hair on your head. What you do? Now read on. Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. The Lord said we can't shave off our beard. So do you shave? All right, well, I mean, we have to have a beard on our face. Right. Really? I mean, you can get it. Brother's just trying up here, man. Right. We're trying to, yeah, we got a little something, some, but you can't shave off, you can't go into your beard line. Because at the end of the day, we're lions, man. We're right. a lion without his mane. Right. We're grown men. Right. We're not little boys. Right. We're not 1953. And the so-called white man says, get off the sidewalk, shave off your beard, boy. Right? So you got to grow a beard for God. Are you willing to do that for the Lord? To show yourself a man. For the Lord. For the Lord. What'd I say? Would you, would you, yeah, would you? Uh, okay, okay, I'll praise to the most side. Rollo, right? That's a wise thing to do, Rollo. That's a wise thing to do. Now, we're gonna show you. Oh, you gotta get up out of here, Rollo? Oh, you got the fly, you got a flyer? Take your flyer, but don't forget this information. Don't, hold on, one more scripture for you. Go to Deuteronomy 8 and 19. Because, I mean, if you forget this information, God also has judgments as well. And we brought out some of those judgments that happened to our people. Now we're going to show you what the Lord will do if you do forget his word. Read this. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8 and 19. And it shall be, if thou do at all forget the Lord, right. thy God, right. and walk after other gods. And do what? And, and walk, walk after, after other gods. gods. You do what you want to do. He said, oh, man, it's like, yeah, 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 throw the fire in the garbage. Start. Where the, you start rubbing your hands and say, where the pork at? Right. I know what they said, but where the pork at? Huh? Well, the Lord said, if you wow. forget him, what's going to happen? And serve them right. and worship them. Right. I testify against you this day. God said, look, I promise you. Read on. I testify you against you this day right. that ye shall surely perish. The Lord will talk to you. That ye shall surely perish. The Lord said, I promise you this day, I'm going to kill you. See, God, the Lord, don't, the people think God is just all love. God got judgments, man. Yeah. A lot of judgments, man. Of judgments. And we see it every day in the news, man. Every day. God shows his judgments. But God just shows you mercy. He can have you come up here, you stop, you listen. You got the words of the Lord, you know right from wrong now, right? And you will continue to study more willing. But if you forget the Lord, your God, the Lord said, I'll testify against you this day. You're going to show me perish. You understand that, Rollo? All praise to the most high, dude. Go to us your day. All right? All praise. Go, go to Amos chapter 7 and verse 14. Oh, yeah. Go to Hosea chapter 9 and verse 7. It's the book of Hosea chapter 9 and verse number 7. Yeah. The days of visitation are come. What the Lord say? The, the days, days of visitation are come. Right. The days of recompense are come. Right. Israel shall know who gonna know it. Israel, Israel shall know. know. People are gonna be blind all day. Israel shall know. Well, there are people are eventually gonna know that the days of visitation are come, man. Right. Right. The Lamb is gonna come back, man. The Lord is, hey, our people are going to know these things in these last days, right. man. So with that being said, what did the Lord say our people have to do? If you're on the sign, if you're a black, Hispanic, and Native American, what do our people have to do in these last days? Read what you got, King. It's the book of Amos chapter 4, verse 12. Yeah. Therefore, that's what I do unto thee, right. O Israel. Right. And because I would do this unto thee, again. prepare to meet thy God. Prepare, prepare to meet thy God. God. Prepare, prepare to meet thy God. God. Come back to prepare to meet your God in these last days by kids following the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High. Right? And with that, I'd say, come on, 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 Come on,